Hey guys, this episode we're going to be following up on our API clients from scratch episode where we built a to-do list client for an API um, and we used NetHttp built into Ruby, no other dependencies, and we wrote this class where we can easily make HTTP requests. It includes our uh, API authentication token, um, we can add query parameters, body, we can do uh, deletes, and all of this good stuff. Now. I want to talk about refactoring this because we can extract a base client uh, class that this could inherit from and allow us to create a projects client, a, you know, SendGrid client, a whatever API that you might want to use could be your own APIs like we created in the last episode, or we could just integrate with any API. We built the foundations for all of that in the last episode, so let's refactor extract this into a base class, and we can create something very similar to what you see in Rails with your application record and active record base that it inherits from. So let's dig in. So what we wanna do is we wanna add a new um, application client.rb file here, and we're going to define application client as a class, and it doesn't need to inherit from anything, but we're gonna end up with this inheriting from application client. So we can start moving the stuff from our specific client for Todo's API and move it into application client so that any of them can use these generic features. So one of those first places for us to start is actually to put the net HTTP require up here because all of our API clients are gonna inherit from this which will then load net HTTP. So we don't need that to be in every single file for our API clients. We can put it in one location. Now the next things we can start doing is taking over the initialize method. So 